I got myself my Xbox One first day edition. Uh, picked it up last night at midnight, and uh, I must say it's a beautiful console. Well, it looks very nice, but it's a freaking behemoth. It's huge. It's like a big, huge behemoth sitting in your living room. Um, PS4 is slimmer. Uh, beautiful looking console, honestly. Both of them are actually beautiful looking. Uh, PS4, I prefer the look of it myself, but it's, you know, it's nice. But the Xbox is no slouch. I mean, it has a beautiful look to it. It's just big. Um, the controllers, I love my Xbox controller. I always liked the Xbox controller over the PS4 controller. Um, that hasn't changed. Um, you know, Sony did a good job. Can't complain. The new PS4 controller is by far the best controller Sony ever made. Um, I myself, like I said, prefer the Xbox controller. But, um, yeah, still good controller. Awesome console. The Vita with the PS4 works amazingly. But, um, moving forward, just wanted to show you guys a couple of things with it. Like, for example, this Kinect thing here is phenomenal. Way better than the Kinect back in the day. And uh, works ridiculously well. And I'll show you right now. So, I have no controllers in my hand, right? And uh, all I have to do to uh, turn on my TV and my Xbox is say, Xbox on. And as you can see, it'll flash. Xbox on. As you can see, lights, lights up. Uh, bear with me on it because I actually configured it in a different room than this. So the ambience of noise is different. I have to run the setup again. So it might take one or two times, but when it's configured properly like it was in my other room, um, it honestly works amazing. It even works amazing and I haven't even configured it properly yet. But um, as you can see, just saying Xbox on, basically turned on my whole entire Xbox. <sighs> now if I want to watch TV, I just say Xbox, watch TV. And it'll automatically switch me over to uh, my TV channel. Xbox home will take me to my home now as you can see this is not just a uh, TV like watching TV it's an actual live tile like it's live in the tile as I watch TV if I want to watch it full screen I just say Xbox watch TV full screen and there you go my Xbox watches the TV full screen if I'm inclined to want to do something else on my Xbox and I watch TV, all I have to do is say, Xbox, Snap TV. And as you can see, it snaps over to the right. I can continue to watch TV on the side there while I do whatever I want to do. Um, even if I want to just say, play a video game. So what if I say, Xbox, open. What was it again? Oh, yeah. Xbox, go to rise, son of Rome. And then it will automatically launch. Oh. Xbox. Go to Rise, Son of Rome. And as you can see, it launches my game for me. So I can play my video game and watch my TV at the exact same time. Keep in mind, I haven't even picked up a controller yet. I'm doing all this vocally as I talk. I mean, I haven't even touched anything. I haven't touched the remote control in my living room. I literally walked in. Told it to turn on the TV, told it to launch my game, and as you can see, it's playing my game on one side while I watch TV on the other side. Let's just say uh, I want to get rid of my TV completely. I just say, Xbox, unsnap. And as you can see, I have my full screen there. Very cool. Seriously, no joke. Works phenomenal. Shocked the crap at how good it works. Um, let's just say I want to leave here. Xbox, home. And as you can see, Xbox home and as you can see I'm back on my tile page Just say I want to make a Skype call Xbox open Skype and it'll open oh no see for those commands you have to actually say the word go um, Microsoft will probably work out a way but there's specific commands but when you get the commands right it works perfectly so if I say Xbox go to Skype automatically it's gonna open up Skype for me Xbox, go to Skype. I have to change the ambience in the room. I have to reconfigure it for this room because it's a bigger room than I had it in before. So it 
it doesn't hear it as good but once it's configured it works stellar um, Xbox settings okay. Xbox settings yeah I'll configure it after but yeah no works ridiculously well actually Xbox turn off yes and that's it turn my Xbox off turned it on did whatever I wanted to do and turned it off without even touching a controller it's actually ridiculously good and if I just was ever so inclined I could just simply say Xbox on and it immediately boom powers back on as you can see I said Xbox on light comes up yeah my Xbox is turning on <laughs> that simple actually it's ridiculous like honestly shocked love it so cool like such a innovative way to kind of get around in your living room nobody's done it not even UPS4 but gotta have them all exclusives on each console and I picked up Call of Duty Assassin's Creed Dead Rising and Rise so uh, get my game on have some fun and go from there Xbox settings go to my settings oh better yet it hasn't signed me in as you can see usually what it does is it signs you in by scanning your face but because I'm standing up it didn't see my face so if I wanted to sign me in all I have to do is say Xbox sign me in as Ferris and Xbox sign me in as Ferris There you go, sign me in, just by telling it to sign me in, it's pretty good. Anyway, uh, after doing this, I realized how bad it was moving it from one room to the other, so keep that in mind if you pick one of these up, if you decide to move it from room to room, you'll have to run the setup because once you run it, it will understand the commands instantaneously, like in my other room, it understood everything instantaneously. This one took me a knee jerk once or twice, but still, I mean, f for not even bothering to set it up, it works phenomenal in this room. But yep, that's the Xbox One. I do love it. Honestly, if I had to choose between the PS4 and this, it would be this, definitely. Thank God I have a luxury of not having to choose because that would be a hard one, seriously. And that's my Xbox. Just thought I'd show it off a little bit because it is a really cool piece of tech.